this is Captain Chaudhary. Welcome in this video on SFBM which is based on the uh, static uh, bending moment and wave bending moment. We are going to see in this uh, fourth video I think uh, in my uh, series of videos on shear force and bending moment. We are going to discuss what is the effect of wave. What is this uh, uh, when we say uh, the lodicator should be on uh, uh, sea mode or harbor mode. What is the difference between harbor mode and a sea mode? Uh, what is static bending moment and what is wave bending moment? So uh, uh, static bending moment is the bending moment on the ship because of the vessel's loading, because of the static distribution of weights on the ship. The way uh, the chief officer or the master have loaded the ship, the ship because of static bending moment could be hogging, could be sagging or they might load it in such a way that stresses are evened out and there is no appreciable bending moment. Now uh, uh, we have uh, uh, seen in our previous videos like how the weight which is distributed on the ship and the buoyancy that is caused because of the shape of the hull, the static bending moments are created. When the ship sails out to sea, you know additional moments because of waves are caused. Like you might have static torsional moments and you might have wave caused torsional moment but we are not considering torsional moments at this moment. At this moment uh, let us concentrate on the uh, uh, straightforward uh, linear bending moments. So there could be a wave which is as long as approximately as long as the ship's length. Now uh, a wave that is traveling along the fore and aft length of the ship you know and whose length is approximately equal to the length of the vessel is the worst wave as far as you know the st stresses are concerned that is bending moment is concerned and also as far as stability is concerned. Now uh, as I tell the students like stability and strength are two independent streams of a naval architecture. So uh, uh, in a stability we have seen that it generally tends to cause parametric rolling but here when we consider the strength it might be one of the worst kind of waves you know to bend the ship in an adverse way cause a severe bending moment when it adds up to the static bending moment. Like if uh, the waves are like small ripples they don't affect the strength of the vessel and if the wave length is extremely long say about a kilometer or something like that that wave also will not present any hazard to the ship but here is a wave which is approximately equal to the length of the vessel. So lodicators they consider a wave which is equal to the length of the vessel and the height of the wave is generally uh, by an empirical formula it is considered as lambda by 20 or it is 0.607 into under root of length you know so uh, suppose there is a ship of uh, say 144 meters under root of 144 is 12 12 multiplied by 0.607 uh, that uh, should be uh, something like 7.2 meters I suppose uh, that 7.2 meters is the height of wave and amplitude of the wave is going to be 3.6 meters. So uh, let us consider that in C there is uh, uh, the ship of length 144 meters and uh, we say that 0 0.607 which is most uh, often used empirical formula in respect of the height of wave. So 7.2 or 7.3 meters is the height and therefore amplitude of the wave will be 3.64 meters. Now what happens? Suppose there is a box vessel. We are talking about a box vessel which meets the wave uniformly. Now there is no influence of the shape of the vessel because this is a box uh, this is a block vessel, a cuboidal vessel and uh, uh, therefore the block coefficient is 1. 
right? And if there is a wave that is traveling in this direction, uh, can I say, uh, if I may show the movement of wave like this, you know, this wave travels in this direction. Now I have just shown uh, the waves for the sake of uh, uh, showing the direction, otherwise the wavelength is equal to the length of the vessel. That means if I see sideways, the wave could be either like this while uh, uh, um, transiting the ship or it could be like this, crest amidship or the trough amidship. So uh, what I mean is the entire uh, breadth of the vessel takes the wave uniformly. There is a uniform uh, thrust that is created because of uh, the wave, because of the uh, instantaneous draft at any point. So uh, what is the effect of this wave on a box vessel? What is the effect of this wave on a box vessel? So that can be found as buoyancy per unit length is equal to 1.025 multiplied by the breadth of the vessel multiplied by 7.28 divided by 2 that is the amplitude you know, cosine of 2 pi x upon length of the vessel that is 144, right? And this is multiplied by 9.81. So what we get is the buoyancy force per unit length and the unit would be mega. If we multiply this by uh, 10 raised to minus 3, the unit will be mega newton per meter. Now uh, with the help of this buoyancy per unit length which is added shear force this is going to provide additional shear force. Now from the buoyancy per unit length we are able to find out uh, the shear force and the unit would be mega newton and if we integrate the shear force we get bending moment while we are integrating uh, assumption or the fact which is there while we are integrating is at the ends of the ship the shear force is also zero and bending moment is also zero. That means eventually by integrating the buoyancy we get shear force and bending moment and this bending moment is uh, going to be the bending moment that is caused to a box vessel or a vessel with block coefficient 1. Now this bending moment is going to add up to the static bending moment. Now with the assumption that the vessel that is encountered is cuboidal or uh, uh, has a block coefficient of 1, the hogging bending moment caused by wave will be same as sagging bending moment caused by the wave. Whereas the ships are actually not with the block coefficient 1. The ships may be fine with low block coefficient or the block coefficient might be more for certain loaded tankers etc. So uh, depending on the block coefficient of the ship, the impact of the wave that is passing the ship from underneath would be different. So accordingly, the hogging bending moment that is caused by the wave on a ship shape vessel will not be same as sagging. You know, there is a difference. And this difference between the hogging and sagging tends to become smaller and smaller. And when the block coefficient of the ship is one, the hogging bending moment is equal to sagging bending moment. Let us now see what happens when the wave uh, bending moment is introduced in a lodicator over the static bending moment. Right? So uh, we were considering a <coughs> wave bending moment caused on a box vessel where hogging bending moment is equal to sagging bending moment. Uh, as I told you, if it is a streamlined vessel with uh, a block coefficient different, that is underwater is not uh, with a block coefficient 1, low block coefficient, then what happens is the wave imparted sagging bending moment is likely to be more than the hogging. This difference keeps reducing as the uh, uh, the block coefficient increases as it tends to become 1 
and when block coefficient is 1 that is cuboidal vessel then the hogging bending moment caused because of waves is equal to sagging bending moment. So uh, here uh, we had considered a ship of length 144 let's say uh, approximately 740 uh, mega newton meter. Now 740 mega newton uh, meter hogging as well as sagging bending moment alternately is provided to the ship and let us say the static bending moment was something like 800 mega newton meter. This is x axis and what we are saying is the ship has got a static bending moment which is sagging right mega newton meter sagging. So uh, if this lodicator has taken the convention to show the sagging on the negative side so what we say is this is static bending moment. Now the wave imparted bending moment is 740 so either the wave will cause sagging at any given moment or it might cause hogging at any given moment. The interesting thing to note here is when static bending moment which is sagging combines with the sagging bending moment of uh, uh, the wave then the total bending moment that is faced by the ship is considerable and the figure is 1540 mega newton meter whereas when uh, the static bending moment of the ship which is 800 combines with the wave bending moment that is hogging 740 the resultant would be just about 60 mega newton meter. So you can see this is what happens uh, out at sea when the uh, ship is fighting with the waves when the waves are traveling in four and a half direction of the length approximately equal to the ship's length and the height equal to 0 0.607 under root length of the vessel. Alternately the ship is getting a bending moment of 60 mega newton meter and 1540 mega newton meter we should be concerned about this kind of situation. So many masters what they tell the duty officers is when they make uh, the cargo plan or when the cargo work is actually going on on the ship they keep the lodicator on uh, sea stresses not the harbor stresses. So when the lodicator is kept on sea mode or sea stresses mode then what happens is this artificial or imaginary wave is introduced and a duty officer can see like for this static bending moment of 800 at any given time uh, is actually 1540 mega newton meters right and this 1540 mega newton meters should be well within the uh, extreme limits which are permitted. So I hope uh, uh, you have enjoyed this lecture and you've got an idea as to what is uh, a wave bending moment, what is static bending moment and what are the harbor stresses and what are the sea stresses what are the two different modes on the lodicator thank you mm -hmm.